Saint Conrad of Piacenza, also known as Saint Conrad of the Holy Spirit, was an Italian nobleman who lived in the 14th century. He is venerated as a saint in the Catholic Church, and his feast day is celebrated on February 19th. He was born around 1290 to a family of nobles in Italy. He married the daughter of another nobleman and loved her greatly. They lived a pious life together. One day, while out hunting, Conrad ordered servants to set a fire to brushwood to flush out some game. A strong wind spread the fire to nearby fields and forests, and the flames went on to destroy villages. Unable to stop the fire, Conrad returned home in secret with his servants. He said nothing about his role in the disaster to anyone. the authorities arrested an innocent peasant who happened to be found near the place where the fire had originated. He was accused of being the one who started the fire. He was imprisoned, tortured, and condemned to death. When Conrad heard this, he was filled with remorse. As the poor man was being led to execution, Conrad, stricken with remorse, declared the man innocent and confessed his own guilt openly. He was ordered to pay compensation for the damages and sold nearly all of his property to do so. He repaid his neighbors for all the losses they had suffered then retired to a distant region. This is a quick break to make an appeal to our viewers who watch and learn from our videos. We have been making one new video every week for the last three years. Being a team of very few people, this is such a huge feat for us. We were able to produce these videos using the revenue generated from YouTube and by the support of our kind-hearted viewers via Patreon and PayPal donations. The last few months had been really tough for us. There was a significant decline in YouTube revenues. The drop is almost 50% compared to last year. Here is our appeal. If you think you and your kids learn something from our videos or benefit in any kind, then please support us by making a one-time donation through PayPal or become a supporter on Patreon. Your support will go a long way in keeping up with the productions and bringing the amazing stories of saints to life. Remember, every small contribution helps. It can be as low as $2, the price of your next coffee. Support us to keep making more videos. God bless you. The experience caused the couple to consider where God might be acting in their lives. They understood that God was calling them to a simple life of service, and they gave the rest of their possessions to the poor. Conrad then left to join a group of Franciscan hermits and his wife joined the poor Clares. Conrad took on the life of a hermit and lived a life of prayer and solitude. He became known for his holiness, and people sought him out for advice and spiritual direction. Word eventually spread of Conrad's holiness, piety, and gift of healing. When many visitors began to destroy his life of silence and solitude, he moved to Sicily 
where he lived and prayed as a hermit for 36 years. He lived in strict penance, sleeping on the bare ground with a stone for a pillow and with dry bread and raw herbs for food. One of the legends about him narrates an incident when the Bishop of Syracuse visited him. The Bishop asked Conrad if he had any food to offer guests. Conrad went to his cell and returned with newly made cakes. The Bishop accepted it as a miracle. In another instance, Conrad visited the bishop later to make a general confession to him. As he arrived, Conrad was surrounded by fluttering birds. He died while praying on his knees in 1351 surrounded by a bright light in the presence of his confessor. He was canonized in 1625. Lord God, you alone are holy, and no one is good without you. Through the intercession of St. Conrad, help us to live in such a way that we may not be deprived of a share in your glory. Amen.